Good morning, Magic Lovers, and early risers. We are back with another day of Just Sky Walkers. Holon's Just Sky Walkers. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday, I'm gonna just go over the deck quick. Whole point of the deck is we are not a Fires of Invention, Fires of Invention deck. We are a Just Sky Walkers, Just Sky Planeswalkers deck, basically, that relies on Sark and the Master List with this plus one, which says until end of turn, each Planeswalker you control becomes a 4-4 red dragon creature and gains flying and you can see we've got a whole host of planeswalkers we've got four to fairies four narsets both like incredibly busted planeswalkers that gets played in almost every deck that can have them three elspeth sons nemesis a copy of the royal scions and then one chandra on the top end got a few elspeth conquers death we got and then and then beyond the planeswalkers we just have a bunch of interaction right to deal with our opponent's threats this is kind of the trade-off this is why we don't run fires of invention we don't want fires of invention because we want to be Popping out Petty Theft from our Brazen Borrower, our Bone Crusher Giant. We want a Mystical Dispute for those nasty blue decks. Deafening Clarions with Teferi's plus one, letting us cast Sorceries at instant speed. All good stuff. So, check out the sideboard quick too. You can see here we've got Legion War Boss for some of those more controlling ma against more controlling decks. You know, but we're running Devout Decrees, Ether Gust, Deceitful Strokes, Dovin's Vetoes, all that good stuff. And a couple Heliod's Interventions, the Wander, which I still. I'm horrible at figuring out when I'm supposed to board that in, but we'll figure that out eventually. Let's do it. Um, we should re-roll here quick. We've got a green and black spells. So I obviously made progress on this, but it's not a 750, so let's hope for the best. All right, blue and black spells. At least we can finish blue and black spells. That's fine. Um, that. All right, let's get into it. Yesterday, we accidentally did not do ranked. So we want traditional, standard, ranked. And go. Got to bring up, um, just in case I'm going to bring up the Reddit post that Holens did for this deck. He has some sideboarding information in case it is relevant. Ooh, Muyan Ling, Planeswalker here. That's sweet. All right, and we want to play first. And we've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a good opener. So, sorry, I won't distract myself here with the Reddit thing. So opening hand that we drew is a mountain and a temple of triumph. And then we've got Elspeth Conquers Death, Mystical Dispute, Parter, Narset, Parter Veils, Deafening Clearing, and Sarkin. A, I just don't think this is enough lands, given what we're holding right now. And B is I have no blue mana, and I have two blue cards. So let's mulligan here. It's a little better. <laughs> it's a little better only in the sense of that this is uh, a ton of lands. But I think we try this. Ay vey. Let's try it. And we'll put back. We'll keep the planar beacon. What do we want to put back? Probably a basic of some kind. If I put back the mountain. Yeah, putting back the mountain is great here. And I think we fabled passage right away just to pull another land out of our deck like as fast as we can. Because I really don't want to draw any more lands out of this. Oof duh. And the color we're gonna go get is blue here. Because I we definitely need another blue. Next, and we'll hide from our this will hide from our opponent too what we are. Although they're just big green boys, so they don't really care what we are, do they? Nothing matters to them in this scenario. Let's go get some blue. Alright, so we may get punished for taking this basically all lands hand. But I really didn't want to go down to five here. Omen of the Sea is nice. Omen of the Sea is nice. I think we just keep playing untapped mana at the point. At this point, I don't really want to take extra damage if I don't have to. Oy vey, out comes the Paradise Druid. All right. So my kingdom for a Deafening Clarion. Show me the Deafening Clarion. It's not a Deafening Clarion, but actually Teferi's not bad here. Narset's also not bad. Let's keep this. Let's keep these the way they are. And let's just start gaining some life here. With Teferi, we'll send this Pelt Collector right on back home. Save us a little time here. Oy vey. A Fabled Passage, no. We'll play this again right away just to get some more mana here. I may have screwed up. This might be a little too slow. I knew there was going to be a Questing Beast coming down here. Or I highly suspected. The sound feels very loud in this game right now. Let's turn it down a little bit. 
Well, it's looking pretty bad for us, friends. So, what color do I want here? I suppose it doesn't really matter. I almost have everything, so let's put the red out there. That's the only color we're not running yet. We have to run out the Narset. Well, there's the Clarion. I don't know if this actually helps me now, though, because now that I have this Questing Beast out here, yeah, it buys me maybe a tiny bit of time. The smallest bit of time against this. I don't know if this is actually a very good matchup. It probably, it really probably isn't. Because he just has the quest. He can just hit me for six. I'm almost dead. I lose my Planeswalker. This is just killing us. Holy cow. Holy cats, man. Let's go get another land out of our deck. We'll go get a red here. Oh, we can't go get a red. Well, that's fine, too. Get a white. Would have been nice to find an Elspeth Conquers Death. I actually think I have to play the Sarkin here and minus. I know I, was, I, know I said I was going to play Deathening Clarion, but this, this actually blocks this and kills this if it attacks, so that's pretty decent. It, and if he has a some kind of like instant where these two fight, I mean, I, I just lose them. That's fine. I don't think this deck matches up that well against this one. Especially given, like, this is going to have haste. We'll see, though. We might be able to pull. I don't know if we'll pull this one. Yeah, do it. Do it. Please, 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 please. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Sarkin. Holens, thank you for playing this this card. Oh. <laughs> unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Oh, it's... <laughs> okay, Mystical Disputes out. Elspeth Conquers Death in. Aether Gusts in. Stainful Stroke? I mean, he's, gonna have, he's definitely going to have cards for or greater. Amazing. Incredible. Maybe I just take out one Elspeth and do one Disdainful Stroke. I kind of like that. The Wanderer probably also. Power for or greater. It's going to hit something. But I really don't think that's his place in this world. Let's try this list. Let's try this. Sarkin. <laughs> I could not have predicted that. I mean, I was pretty far behind on the board there. I mean, maybe he really wasn't holding anything else. I mean, I don't know why he didn't play the Pelt Collector first. I mean, I was tapped out. All I had was the dragon and stuff. So that's the beauty. I mean, something to say about this deck, right, is when you play an off-meta deck, these are the things that happens, right? This guy is like, oh, okay, like he's not thinking, he's not thinking about what Sarkin's passive is, and pff, he gets so frustrated, and now he just quits! Oh my god, okay, all right, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll go to gold tier one anytime. Uh, yeah, let's get back in there. All right, okay. That was really funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Serpaton Julien. All right. Elspeth. And are we going first this time? Opponent goes first, but we got a nice opening hand. Look at this. Royal Science, Narset, Brazen Borrower, Temple. Okay. So four lands, three playable spells, all three, you know, three cost, two cost. Really good hand. Really good opener. Ugh. Ah, nuts. Okay. So we're possibly against some kind of teamer adventures or something like that. I don't know how we stack up against that. Um, if they are teamer, I'll keep that. Maybe they're, they might not be. I don't know if Holens did a sideboarding plan for teamer adventures. Ah, uh, no, but... Okay, it's looking less like teamer adventures every second, so... Oh, rats. Oh. Uh. Let's pay two life, get that on out there. It could just be mono, it just might be mono green for all I know. All right, here's Lord Gettenbrig. We gotta send that right on back home. Poor things, poor things get out of hand. We gotta send that right on back home. Uh, alright, so let's play this to buy us some time here. 
Send this right on back to your hand. Chandra, huh? So that'll be interesting to see what our opponent plays next. Does the Garen, Does this guy come back out? Does this guy come back out? He obviously gets rid of the Teferi. That's fine. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. Rats, there's that Clarion. Boy, am I just gonna really take it on the face here, aren't I though? Owie. Ow, 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 ow. Or I could just keep up the mystical dispute. Eh. Let's make him at least consider hitting this thing. Defend me, Narset. Oh, double deafening Clarion. Actually, that's not going to save me because he's going to be huge. <laughs> oh, no. Ay vey. Ay vey. All right, we're not going to... Remember how we beat the last guy? With some simple tricks and nonsense. This one is, this guy's not going to fall for that stuff, I guess. Um, and we're just dead. Right? Definitely. Okay. Let's concede before we show him anything else. He just All he knows is that I'm just guy and have some cool planeswalkers. Which I do have some cool planeswalkers. Alright, Elspeth Conquers Death is in. Disdainful Strokes in. Aether Gusts are in. None of that stuff comes in. Alright. What do we take out is the question. Does Deafening Clarion... No, Deafening Clarion does kill things. Bone Crusher is a body, so we keep that. We take out the Mystical Disputes. Honestly, we're hitting non-traditional decks right now. It's really strange. We'll take out one of these Elspeth Sun's ne Nemesis. Although, she does make blockers. Um, maybe just take out the Chandra. I don't know. She's a top end, but I don't think I'm going to live that long to see her. <laughs> I ain't going to live to see her, so... Tempted to take her out. Let's get rid of her. All right, we sideboarded. Let's give it a shot. Rats, I we did not have the same luck with this guy that we did at the last one who, you know, uh, just made a little mistake and then quit. So we'll play. Ay vey. Ay vey. Look at this. One land. Six spells. We have to mulligan. Two lands. Um, This one's not as bad. I think we put back a Teferi. All right, to ferry back, we've got a hollow tone, a temple of epiphany with the scry. But then we've got an Elspeth Conqueror's Death, an Aether Gust, a Deafening Clarion. So we have lots of ways to deal with our opponent as long as we draw lands. And there's one. So I'll take that. These guys sure love their pelt collectors, don't they? And I think I play this to go get a white mana. Because I really want to be able to play this Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Sweet, and the next turn we're just gonna deafen and clear on right away. Blow up this board of his, say Say no way, Jose. Before we forget, let's go get a white mana. We're gonna have to shock ourselves. That's a little painful, isn't it? My turn. I guess we won't have to shock ourselves. Poof. I'm sorry. Sorry, you ain't playing your questing beast around here, bud. Not on, not, not this next turn. All right, okay. All right, Yorvo, that's a, that's a cool card. I like that one. Yorvo's a neat card. But I've got Teferi. All right, so this is going a lot. Oh, yes, there's our, there's our Elspeth Conqueror's Death mana. Get me back my Teferi. I'm guessing the questing beast is coming down here. To punish me for my uh, malfeasance. Oh, that's great. Okay. Big, big Daddy Sarkin coming on down. Make the dragon. Plus to fairy. Perfect. Perfect. Unless a questing beast comes down. I mean, we're just going to Elspeth Conqueror's Death this, so we don't care too much about that. And, of course it has a reach. Of course it does! Alright, sure, if you want to lose that to those, that's okay by me. If that is what you want, sir. So, here we go. 
This is going to get a little confusing, I think. You can have that back. Really put the pressure on him, you know? And then I think I just keep up Ether Gust and Omen. And if he wants to spend his mana pumping this, then we will uh, bounce it. That's fine. So we're definitely Ether Gusting that thing. Send it on back, buddy. Did he put it on top? If he did, that would be kind of ridiculous, right? So can you still make a 4-4? I think so. Yeah, still make a 4-4. There's my girl Elspeth. And this Elspeth Conquers Death does not hit this. I don't I don't think it does anyways. So I can bounce it again. Is that even good though? No, not not particularly. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Oh, I've done the hero thing. It's got a block here, he dies. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a good play yeah <laughs> even sarah even well even he respects that play um i guess i just have to keep what i've got so i did see the stone coil serpent um which makes me consider this but i still don't think it makes sense could put back in the Chandra because yeah I just do not have a way to deal I, I'm assuming he's not running a ton of stone coil serpents I think we just have to take the risk the stone coil almost almost got me there all right let's see how this let's see how game three goes he gets to, he's on the play this time which is very scary especially if he gets like the nut draw with a bunch of a bunch of um, pelt collectors and questing beasts. No questing beasts that game. We got a little lucky there. Um, I think I have to keep this. I mean, we have a deafening clarion and a planeswalker that is useful. So, plus five lands. If we draw like two more lands, we're probably gonna die. Yeah, and of course, there's the pelt collector. Turn on pelt collector naturally. Uh. uh uh, it really has a short life in this game, like a very, very short life. That's the problem. Let's get rid of it. If he if he curves into a questing beast, I mean, I think we're just done for. And he's looking like he's going to. Ah oh, man, ah oh, nuts. Um, okay. That's actually sort of good for me. Now it stinks if he can, uh, get a 1-1 one -one here. Okay, he couldn't. This is our chance, friends. Did we scry land to the bottom already? No, we scryed a deafening clarion to the bottom. Huh. Do I just throw out the Bone Crusher? I don't think so. I think we Fabled Passage. We go get something good, hopefully. Um, bu -bu -bu um. Let's get red for the Sarkin. Let me just Royal Scions here. Start shopping. Oh, maybe I should have played. Actually, maybe I should have played Narset. Oh, 
a land for nobody yet. No, let's get rid of this. Just kind of hoping you'll be tempted to hit the scions. Ugh, this is a questing beast. This is going to stink. Not a questing beast one time. Boy, I sure regret getting rid of that uh, deafening. Remember when I got rid of that deafening clarion a while back? What was I thinking? Beacon, okay. Do I seriously have to play this mana? No, I don't. Because I need to keep a red. Oh, yeah, this is fine. I was going to say, I need to keep a red up. He doesn't have another land, right? So we're going to send this back. There's the Clarion. There's another Clarion. Um, I need to keep the Bone Crusher. Do I dump a Clarion here? Because double Clarion kills actually everything he has, and that means I can't get rid of this land either. So maybe just the Narset goes as horrible as that feels. Yeah, let's get rid of the Narset. As bad as that feels, let's get rid of the Narset. Okay. There's the Growth Chamber. If he attacks with this, I'm just going to shoot it with the Bone Crusher. He's going to go my face, huh? Ha ha ha. I just kill it? Nah, we're just gonna I'm seriously just gonna wipe his board this coming turn here. Do I shoot him in the face of the bone crusher? Nah. Eh, nah. So let's draw first. Okay, good, now I can get rid of that. And I sort of don't care if he... So do I just shoot this? Does it, Do I even care about this thing? Because he hasn't been able to get it to do anything this whole game. So maybe I don't care. Now let's just clear his board. You can go get a growth chamber. I did this all freaking wrong. If I had plus the Teferi, I actually could have killed it. Oh, I'm, I screwed up so bad. Oh, what an idiot. What an idiot. Okay, if he can't... If he can't kill me this turn, I think he's dead. Because what's going to happen... Is I'm gonna play Sarkin. Hit him for eight. Oh, I guess good thing I got rid of that Love Struck Beast. Jeez. Okay, so he actually can't change that. Plus that. Oh, and we have an Aether Gust. But I can't play the Aether Gust, is the problem. Well, actually, if we find a land, we can. Wrong land. <sighs> Do I just bone crusher this right away? I think so, actually. Molly can't do anything. Um. I think I just keep up the ether gust here. Or do I bone crusher? Let's send out the bone crusher. I might I may regret that, but this is a nice body. There's that ether. There's that sweet, sweet ether gust mana we were looking for. So first we'll plus our Teferi. I'll plus these guys. Um, 
Let's minus the Royal Scions here. Oh, he just gave up. Wow. I, I thought he actually still had a chance here. I mean, he was definitely behind, that's for sure. Wow. Incredible. Amazing game so far with the Just Skywalkers against... Apparently, we really dominate Mono Green. That one, it... That one is looking bad. Um, let's do one more. We're kind of on a roll here with this deck. Holy cats, man. Holens. This deck is a beast. Toby Maru Magic. All right. Let's see what we got here. So opponents going first. We're starting with two lands. Two blue whites. Uh do I have to mulligan this? I'm tempted to keep it because we could just get into the Narset or the Teferi with literally any land we draw. And we're going to have two turns to draw them. Three three cards, basically, before we have to play them. Turn one, we draw, play a land. Turn two, we draw, play a land. Turn three, we get to draw. We'd see three cards. So I think we get to keep this. It's a little risky, but we have a ton of three mana plays if we just get there. So is this another mono green deck? What? We made it. We got there. So we're fine-ish. I actually may regret this because I may really want this Deafening Clarion up and running. So, okay, good. We're, we're not running. We're not against that deck. That's fine. Ooh, Temple of Epiphany. You're welcome. You're welcome here. A fifth land, huh? I don't think so. We have lots of ways to find lands right now. So interesting. Here comes the Lovestruck Beast. Temple Mystery. He, like, he's not a ramp deck, right? Comes a little 1-1. One, one. Okay. So lots of Teferis, huh? So let's start gaining some life. I think we bounce the 1-1 one, one here, although I may seriously regret it. But let's just make him have another 1-1 one, one creature here. I think that's fine, because we can always Elspeth Conquer's Death, the Lovestruck Beast. Ugh. They always have it, don't they? Luckily, he's, she'll probably attack the Teferi. If she doesn't, she's going to regret it. Good. I guess I'm just going to Deafening Clear on this board right now. Or do I Royal Scions? I think it is Deafening Clear on Link. Let's keep his mana. Oh, I screwed up. I could have played a tapped land here. What a dummy. That's all right. Or do I plus the Tef... No, I can't really plus Teferi. That doesn't make any sense, does it? We could Narset. Let's just Deafening Clarion. Get rid of all his mana. Well, not all his mana, but some of his mana. He doesn't have that many lands, though, so... And then we'll just be Elspeth Conquering Death. This Nyssa. Oh, that's a good sign. Whew. That's a good sign. Oh, that's a really good sign. <laughs> he went and got an island. Oh, man. Thank you. Jeez Louise. Like a little mini crisis? Is that what I got going on here? Is he going to tap? No, he's got to attack first. Well, he can't attack first now. He's going to lose his mana pool. He plays that into play tap. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, what a what a What a gift. Plays Anissa, gets nothing out of it, other than he can hit me for three. Whew. Oh, my heart. He really could have just, like, oh, come on. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, jeez, Louise. Now I have to play a Sarkin. I don't think Brazen Barber helps me enough here. Yeah, I mean, let's play the Sarkin. See if he'll trade lands into a dragon, I guess. Throw this out there. Yeah, we're definitely in trouble. Hey, where have my... Uh... Ugh. All right, let's get out of this game. 
Um, okay, we can definitely beat this guy. We have a lot of tools to do with green and blue. Like an Aether Gust. Stainful Stroke, that counters the Nissa. Do I board in the Dovin's Veto? It also deals with Nissa's. Seems to, uh, it seems possible. Another Elspeth Conqueror's Death is good. Okay, what's bad in this list? Um, this may be a Bone Crusher Giant, like bye bye, like bye bye Bone Crusher Giant game. Possibly, actually, let's get rid of the Brazen Borrowers because everything he has, nothing. It doesn't help me to bounce any of the stuff he has. Bone Crusher, I could at least kill one of his things. So I have to get rid of two more cards. I think Chandra's good if we get into the end game. Maybe we just take out one Elspeth and maybe a Narset or something. So you got one Elspeth. Definitely Clarion's still good. Teferi is always good. Take out one Sarkin. How about that? Okay. Oh, I forgot to put in. I had another Mystical Dispute in the sideboard. Oh, oops. I should have put that in too. Maybe not. He was seemed kind of more. He doesn't know really what I am. He just knows that I have Teferi and stuff. So we'll play first. Uh, yep, this is everything I basically need. Play this right away, go get a red, I believe. Yeah, I need a red right now, really, very badly. This guy always has a love struck beast. Yum. My turn. Ooh, a temple. Should I be getting this out of the way right now? Yeah, I don't actually think so. I think we just keep a Bowman in the Sea or and Bone Crusher. We'll see what he plays here. Um, okay. Oh, he's gonna grow spiral. Sure. I mean he is blue green, pretty much straight up blue green ramp. Moment of the sea here. One, two, three, four. So I think I got a bottom the Elspeth Sun's Nemesis, because I actually still need. Oh no, I do have a red mana. Definitely keep the Elspeth Conquer's death though. Okay. Play the beacon. Play Teferi. Is this a counter spell or is this a ramp spell? Guess we'll find out. That's all right. Not too surprised by that. Two Elspeth Conquer's Death is very strong here. And there's our last Elspeth Conquer's Death mana. Um, Fable Passage. At this point, no, we don't need lands. We gotta be able to control this game. I'm so scared of the Nissa, but he's not even at five mana yet, so. Um, let it go to his turn. Go into combat. Let's see if this will. Okay. Oh wow, he went straight second main phase there. It's kind of surprising to me. To the library. What is he looking for? Nissa, Nissa, who changes the world. Didn't get it. Oh, I cannot actually play Elspeth here. Oof, oofta. Oofta, that hurts. Okay, well then it's the, well, is it this or is it Beacon? Let's play Beacon. Let's get Sarkin on out there. Let's get ourselves a dragon. This might have put me in a bad spot, because now if he does find the, what's her face? Can't stop it. Not that I had a really big choice, but. We're not finding any of our anti green stuff. We haven't found any of it. An ether gust, eh? And he did dump some of this stuff. God, we have so many tools to deal with a deck like this. I mean, you can't, oh yeah, he'll, well, you can't do the Sarkin. That doesn't make any sense, right? It doesn't make a lick of sense, does it? You have to do the dragon, I guess? Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, uh. Sure. Oh, come on. <laughs> so unlucky this game. Jeez Louise. Oh, there's a Teferi, I guess. Eh. Teferi's not even that helpful, is he? It does gain me a lot of life, though. And I can play him and the Giant. So I think we do that. What are we bouncing of uh, the Lovestruck Beast? He can already attack with the Lovestruck Beast, so. Send that back. Oy vey. Am I just narsetting? We're just narsetting. Keep shopping for good stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chandra, I guess. She's a big, she's a big character in this game, so let's get him. Problem is, he this guy is getting close to being able to steal stuff out of here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're different. we're gonna lose this matchup, I think. I mean, our opponent just had a a. We didn't look at. We don't have any either gusts. We don't have any mystical disputes. These are all the things that we boarded in, or Disdainful Stroke. We don't have basically any of that stuff. This is all the stuff we boarded in to deal with this guy. But he has found his Aether Gus and his, what, Negate he got on us. Okay, we are pretty much done, though. We don't even have a white land to do this. There's maybe still a chance. It's not looking good, though. Oh, we've gained so much life. Holy cow. Make it's 1-1. One, one. That's a good draw, isn't it? Come on down. Get rid of that thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oy. I mean, I guess I have nothing he can steal. That's of value right now. I need a counter spell, I guess, before I play the Chandra, because he is running these Agent of Treacheries. Another Elspeth conquers death, though, so get rid of this. Not that this is too scary. I mean, he can go get basically anything he wants, which is a legion of good stuff. He takes Agent of Treachery. That is an interesting choice. He's going to Agent of Treachery. He's going to steal this? I don't know about that. I don't know how good that was. Does he have another Agent of Treachery in here? No. Ah, uh, no. I don't need that. Yum. Goodbye, other Elspeth conquers death. Might still be holding in their ether gust. This guy's just been uh I mean we've been lucky we've been lucky in a few of our games too, so I can't complain too much. He just got a lot of stuff that really just threw me off. Like having holding that negate. Also, we've been very unlucky. No mystical disputes. No ether gusts. It's the Nissa. Yeah, and that's probably the end of us. I guess I'm sort of lucky that he wasted this. He might have another crisis for all I know. I actually have no idea what's happening right now, so. I'm pretty sure this is, um, so this weekend, and Andrea Minguchi played a deck like this. I'm pretty sure this is just a one-for-one, one. oh no, it's not a one-for-one one copy, it's Tamiyo Collector of Tales, because he didn't run that, but. Yeah, just your typical Simic Ramp. It's a very normal Simic Ramp deck. Even more normal than I thought, there's an Uro in it too. Um, I feel like I should quit, but maybe not quite yet. I mean, we're almost certainly dead to this. Chandra's gonna gain me a couple more life. Alright, yeah, let's get the heck out of this game. Okay, good job, Toby Maru Magic. 
Good job running your meta deck, loser. It's okay, we made it to gold tier one today. That's pretty good. Plus we had someone quit the game just because um they got Sarkened, which was really comical. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. That was a good, good few games we got there, but uh, I will be back for some more uh, Planeswalker action tomorrow. So have a good one. And all right, stay safe. Bye-bye.